Okay, are you ready? Get set. Okay, so uh, we left off last time where you had put in the fireplace and you should have a chimney. And then we did the, uh, the laundry room and the powder room and some of you got going on the bathroom and some of you didn't. Um, today I want to just kind of focus in on this little kitchenette here and kind of show you what's going on with it and we'll kind of start developing that. Um, if you go to the Google, so what I want to do here, let me get out of that. Uh, let's see, do it this way, kitchenette. Okay, so kitchenettes are basically just mini kitchens, you know, um, very, very common like dorms and small apartments, um, condos, um, granny flats, if you will, anytime there's like, you're trying to do, you know, make somebody sort of self-sufficient, sort of, but not like your full blown house, obviously. So um, if you Google kitchenette ideas, you'll get a bunch of them. Um, I don't want you to follow me necessarily, but I'll give you some ideas. Um, generally, you can have a refrigerator. Uh, usually it's a smaller one. It's not the gigantic one like you guys have where it's, you know, you can hold like a gazillion things. Um, microwaves are nice. Um, usually just a simple sink, one sink. So it's not like the double one like you guys have in your kitchen or triple one. It's usually just a veg what's called a vegetable sink and maybe a cooktop. You guys know what a cooktop is? It, uh, let's see. They kind of look like this. Some of them are induction ones and electric, and there's all kinds of cool technologies out there right now. Have you ever seen the ones where you can set like a, uh, you know, a pan on the thing and uh, you can boil water or whatever, and you can touch it with your finger and you don't get burnt? It's called induction. So it creates electrical current that actually does the work, but it's not hot. So you could just sit and go like this and put your head, your, your elbow right on the induction like surface and cool but it boils and it heats and the whole thing it's kind of a new kind of cool thing and they're very 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 popular right now um if you google induction i like this as a solution just fyi and again they just have this kind of it's like a weird kind of waves of some kind that that do the thing and you cook right on top of it but yes not hot so you can't burn yourself so there's people in this world who, uh, you know, <laughs> who can't burn themselves or it's a big problem or they can't feel heat and stuff like that. So induction ones are really, really cool. And it's always nice to not get burned. Now you can touch the pan and you'll get burned, right? Because it's still hot, right? But the actual surface itself is not. It's kind of cool. Um, so it's, it's, you know, there's gas, there's electric, and then there's induction. And uh, you could use any one of the three, okay? So that said... Go back to that uh, kitchenette. Oh, stop it. I didn't want to do that. Um, so, yeah, there's different ideas, you know, different ideas. Usually, again, a single sink. Uh, they, they, they're of different sizes. I hate when that does that. Uh, different sizes, different um, configurations. You have a certain amount of space based on your granny flat. Um, you need cabinets like you did in the kitchen, and they're kitchen cabinets, by the way. Um, upper cabinets, lower cabinets. If you have a range, you have a range hood. You have to decide whether you want to do a range or you want to do a cooktop, but you need a place to cook. If you don't have a lot of space, then you might not be able to do all the things you want to do because you don't have that much space. And that's completely up to you. But we're going to kind of put together like, like a kitchen. So that's it. Uh, hence the kitchenette, little kitchen. So uh, component place, load family. I'm going to load a few of these in and just kind of show you what they look like. You can do this if you want as well. Um, let's see. Um, oh, I know where it is. It's under range. 
sorry, I hate when I do that. I have all these families in all these different places. Uh, let's see. I am looking for my kitchenette. Um, that was under range. I may have to come back to this one. Uh, let's see, what else did I, where else did I put that specialty equipment I thought? Oh yeah, that's, they're here, okay, sorry. Um, just not used to looking at them. Uh, that's a refrigerator. So these are small refrigerators. So I'm gonna start with the refrigerators, okay? Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna load these four. So I'm in specialty equipment, okay? So let me just show you what they look like. So just loading. Uh, I'm just going to plop them out here just to kind of give you a little uh, showroom. That's the silver inspiration 6.4. That's 8.9. Uh, let's see. What else do I have here for you? I have... Um, you see it and I pass it, let me know. There it is. Uh, different there and there. Now, let me bring in the one we did in the kitchen. So the refrigerator right there, I'm going to create similar just to put it next to it so you can see it. I'll put this closest to the house. Okay, so let me show you what I have. So this is a full-size refrigerator. Uh, you, in theory, you could use a full-size refrigerator, but do you really need a full-size re refrigerator in a granny flat? I would say I wouldn't want to take the space because I want to do other things. Maybe it's, you know, I want a dishwasher also, but if I do this big old fridge, then I won't have room for it. So there are different sizes of refrigerators. So I might do it just like this. I might actually just do what I did. There's bring them all in, put them up there like a showroom, and say, you know, okay, maybe I'm going to try that one, you know? So um, if that's the one I want, then that's the one that goes in. Now, remember the way we did the kitchen, right? It just kind of threw everything in and then started laying things out. Okay, what else do we need in there? Say cooktop. Good answer. Okay, so uh, component place, load family, and uh, back row families. I need a cooktop. Now, those I think are under range. Sorry, I, I made a new folder. I put cooktop in it somewhere. Do you guys see it? Let's see. Um, there we go. Okay, so under range cooktop. I did this in the kitchen and then range cooktop. Um, so I've got a few of them in here. I've um, got some of them that are induction. And they're just little flat, little kind of skinny things. And they basically sit inside the, uh, the countertop. Kind of like we put the sink in. Remember how we put the sinks in and they kind of wedge in the countertop? Kind of like that. Uh, these might go on the ground. So, and I've got a couple of them in here. You can kind of play around with them. You can see them there. There's an induction one. I have some ranges, um, which you can use. I've got cooktops in here. So it's completely up to you. I think you'll find something in here that'll work for you. I'm going to go with this one, and I have no idea if that's a good one or not. We're going to find out. And it's just going to be a placeholder, and they have different, you know, thicknesses and stuff like that. So this one's going to go in, I don't know, here. What else do I need inside this kitchenette? What else do I need? Cabinets? Do I want a dishwasher? I don't know, you know? That's the, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. It's up to you. Uh, you definitely need a fridge and you definitely need something to cook with. Do you need a microwave? I think you probably need a microwave, right? So, um, and it's probably gonna go up into the, up into the cabinets. So um, let's bring that in. So architecture, component place, stop it. Component place, load family. Let's go back and let's find ourselves a um, microwave. Um, I would get the smaller of them because same thing, you know, we're trying to make everything small. It's a kitchenette. This is your typical size microwave goes above the, uh, the range and ranges are 30 inches, but I think we're going to go small this time. 
It's a little guy. And, you know, kind of plops up there. Does that kind of make sense where I'm going? And then, you know, you can start figuring out how you're going to do things here. So if I go to the view here, this is going to go, I don't know, somewhere up in the ballpark here, somewhere, somewhere up in the cabinets, right? And then you start laying out your cabinets. Now we've done this before. Your cabinets should already be loaded. All right. And then all the rules kind of break for like spaces and stuff like that, like two feet between and all that uh, gone. Right. Because it's a kitchenette. Right. So just make things work. Um, I want a cabinet here and I want it. I want this to be kind of underneath the cabinet. Right. So let's place a base cabinet. Um, maybe a double door, maybe a sink unit. I don't know. Let's do a sink unit. Maybe 30 inches. Is this ringing a bell? Remember this from the kitchen? So let's just say I want that to be like right here and that's gonna be kind of on top of it. Now I need something over here. So how much space do I have? Well, then you start measuring, you know? Um, let's see, what do I have here? I've got one foot four. So maybe I find something one foot three, maybe somewhere in that ballpark. So one foot three, so cabinet. What's one foot three in inches? One foot, three in inches. Come on, you guys, mathematicians. <laughs> 15 inches, yeah. So uh, let's see, do I have one? Hey, there's one right there, the single drawer. Let's bring that in. Let's make sure it's going the right direction. It is. And then we'll start using that align tool. And you're basically, you've already done this before. Like I said, you know, you just have to go in there and start doing the work. And then I'm going to take that and align it to that and then start working it. You know, so now that induction thing's gonna be a little bit off and I'll, maybe I'll put this over here. Let's use the align tool. Do I want the refrigerator right next to the induction area? It might actually work okay there because the induction thingy is just right here. And, or it might be that I wanna move this over you know, and put another cabinet in. Do you see where I'm going with that? So let me just do that close there. So, you know, maybe I want a little one there. Maybe I take one of these, create similar. I don't know, I'm just gonna, that's pretty good, huh? Uh, I don't know how I did that. That was pretty close. And just kind of working it, you know? So as you go to the view, you know, it starts to kind of come, come together a little bit. This little induction thing went on the floor. So I'm just gonna bring that up to here. We'll put it, actually, it's probably gonna go a little higher, right? Cause we have a countertop still to go in, right? So maybe something like that. And some of them are bigger than others. So it depends what you bring in, you know? And you can see what's starting to come around here. Uh, this is gonna be up a little bit more probably. Um, and then we'll continue putting in maybe a dishwasher. I think I can put a dishwasher here, huh? So maybe I do that. Because remember this is up high, right? So I could do a dishwasher there. So architecture component place load family. And then, you know, you get the basic idea of where I'm going. It's just, you're gonna, you're in charge of putting in stuff. I think most of my stuff is under the uh, kitchen there. Dishwasher. And all the dishwashers are the same size. So pick whichever one you want. They're all pretty much the same size. Do I want that right next to it? No, probably not, huh? Probably somewhere over here somewhere, right? And you get the idea. Then you start building your cabinets and you know, you're off and running. Oh, I already had a dishwasher loaded, huh? Because the dishwasher was already there, wasn't it? Because we brought it in from the, uh, ah, sorry, I messed that up. Let me do that again. I had already loaded the dishwasher because we have a dishwasher in our uh, kitchen, right? It's right there. So I'm going to create similar. There we go. Kind of like that. Kind of makes sense. Now, you are also going to need upper cabinets. So let's do that really fast and then I'll let you guys go. Um, I would do those from the floor plan view. Don't do them from elevation. You should already have them loaded. And it should say upper cabinets. And so, you know, it's going to be single cabinets, double cabinets. Um, you know, you can do whatever size you want, um, you know. I'm going to plop that in. It's not going to be aligned. 
um, however you want to do it, you know, um, lay them out. If you want little ones, match them up with the same size. If that's a 15 inch one, maybe I bring in a 15 inch one and just work it. Um, let's see one more here. Do I have a 15 inch cabinet? Let's see. I may or may not. Let's see. I do. Yeah. Remember these, they attach to the wall. You can't do anything about that. They attach to the wall and then just use the align tool to, uh, to line them up. So now if I go to the section view, you know, it starts to come around. Um, I'll talk about the, uh, the range or the, uh, I'll do that right now. What the heck? Um, did we say this was 24 inches? Okay, so watch this. Um, here's the play on that. I don't think I even did this in the, on the, uh, the regular kitchen. Um, so the way it goes is you bring in a 24 inch cabinet like that. And then what you do, see how this is obviously not working, right? And then what you do is you edit type and you duplicate. What we're going to do is we're going to make a cabinet that's not as tall. Does that make sense? So maybe we make this, uh, let's make this uh, 12 high by 24 wide. So you're making your own type. So the idea is instead of two foot six on the height, you change it to like a foot. Let me show you what happens. So now that's shorter. And then you would do is you would, let me just move that out of the way for a second. You would align that and that. And then that goes underneath. Does that kind of make sense? Kind of does like that. Kind of a, kind of a stacky thing. That's what they do. And you probably have something like that similar even in your house. Maybe a lot of you have ranges down here, and then you have a microwave, and then there's a cabinet above. Does that sound that kind of sound familiar to some of you? Yeah. And then the the when when the fumes come out of the microwave, there's a little there's a little uh, duct that goes up through that cabinet, and then it goes up and out. So that's a common way to do it. Um, you could do the same thing with one of these above the fridge. But this little mini fridge actually it looks kind of like you could put a cabinet right there, huh? So you could take, I don't know, what was, how big was that? That was, uh, let's see, how big is this thing? One foot nine-ish, <laughs> ish. Uh, let's see, watch this little trick. So however you decide to lay these things out, you know, you could copy and you could do more of them and just kind of line them up, change the sizes. You know, maybe this is gonna be bigger or smaller. I don't know if I would go bigger, but you get the basic idea. You can make, you can lay these out however you want. So everything works. And that, that little mini fridge fits right underneath. So you don't even have to do this like you would normally do a regular big fridge. Got it? Kitchenette, have fun. Want everyone working on the kitchenette, even if you didn't finish the chimney and the powder room, and the laundry room.